Yafit Koto, the charismatic actor who faced off with James Bond, a deadly alien and devious criminals in his long career, has died at age 81. Koto's death was announced by his wife, Tessie Sinahan, in a Facebook post, saying she was sad and in shock after losing her husband of 24 years. Koto died in the Philippines, she added. You played a villain on some of your movies but for me you're a real hero and to a lot of people also, Sinahan said, calling Koto her best friend. A good man, a good father, a good husband and a decent human being, very rare to find. With his stout frame and imposing glare, Koto was often called on to smolder and intimidate, playing villains like Dr. Kananga, aka Mr. Big, in Roger Moore's debut as Bond in 1973's Live and Let Die. But his ability to rattle off rapid-fire dialogue with Shakespearean fluency, even while summoning an infectious grin, brought an intelligence and depth to his roles that the material Koto was working with sometimes lacked. You were so memorable in every role you did. Your presence and talent were undeniable and magnetic, Viola Davis said in a tweet addressed to Koto. He's one of those actors who deserved more than the parts he got, director Ava DuVernay said. But he took those parts and made them wonderful all the same. Koto starred opposite Anthony Quinn in 1972's Across 110th Street, playing a young black police officer who is paired with an older and prejudiced partner. The movie has stood up as a classic from the black exploitation era. It also helped to secure Koto's standing as a movie star. In 1978, Koto appeared alongside Richard Pryor in Blue Collar, portraying the worldwide Smokey James in a story about a struggle between auto plant workers, their union and the company where they work. Koto appeared in Ridley Scott's Alien one year later, playing the chief engineer, Dennis Parker. Years later, Koto said he was glad his character died in the film, because it spared him from being in any sequels. Yafit Koto was born in New York City, the son of a father who traced his roots to royalty in Cameroon and a mother who was a nurse and army officer, according to his biography on the IMDb website. He was raised by his grandparents in the Bronx. It may come as a surprise that Koto, an actor known for his burly intensity, credited Barbara Stanwyck with being his guru, after the two worked together in the 1960s TV series The Big Valley. Stanwyck, who played a straight-talking mother, in the traditional sense, on the show, was one of several women whom Koto said boosted his career. I did Big Valley with her, and she took over my life. Brother, every move I made, she was following me, Koto told an interviewer in 2003. And I had Mary Astor calling me from the old age home, ragging my a asterisk asterisk all the time. In addition to those two stars, Koto said, the actress Judy Holliday produced a staging of Othello that Koto appeared in when he was just 19.